It's your girl. Um, well, I was peer pressured into doing this. I'm not a YouTube person. I don't watch YouTube. So, I'm mediocre at makeup. But, I'm going to be doing my easy summer dewy look today. So, right now I got on my greasy moisturizer because your girl got dry skin. And I'm also going to put this aquaphor on because I got eczema. And then next, my primer, I use the Wet n Wild uh, Dewy Primer. I live for this. Um, it was $5 and I use it for primer and I also use it sometimes as um, a liquid highlighter. And I've been using this for a long time and it's still not out yet. Okay, for this, I'm not going to use foundation, so you can see my freckles contouring. I use the super cheap Revlon 2-in-1 foundation. This is the shade True Beige, and I'm just going to yeet this bad boy on with this e.l.f. brush I got for free. It's a foundation blurring brush. I like it a lot. It doesn't, you know, the hairs don't come off of it. Like my other contour brush does. Put this on cheekbones, on my big old forehead. Gotta mask my flaws. I'm gonna look like a skinny queen. Little on my jawline so you can be alluded to think I have a jaw. I am just a worm. Or a thumb, Pillsbury Doughboy, whatever you want to call me. My nose is shaped like a mushroom, so I gotta contour this bad boy away. Gotta snatch it. Okay, so there's that. And so next, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the palest shade it comes in. Because you girl look like a snowman. And I'm not actually very fond of this concealer. I don't know. I feel like... It just creases way too much, but I'm kind of broke, so it's all I got at the moment. I'm going to spray my um, blending sponge I've had for years. This used to be bright blue um, with my Garnier rose water spray. That's probably just water with rose fragrances in it. So it probably doesn't actually do anything for me. I'm gonna blend all my flaws away. I wish it would work on my bad decision making as well. Done with that. So next we gotta bake my crap. So I use a different blending sponge. I'm gonna eat, eat that on there as well. I've been using um, air spun powder for like a solid year now and I've never loved anything more like I used a uh, tart setting powder and that was absolute garbage but I love this I think it smells nice and it works well and it's five dollars and it comes with a ton like I've been using this one for a year and I still haven't run out yet okay so next eyebrows so I use this Pro Fusion Defined Brows. It used to be available at Target last year, and then it ran out, and like, like all of their products ran out in a week, and they haven't updated it since. But I love this palette. It was seven dollars. You can also buy it online. Two eyebrow pencils, a wax pencil, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different shades of brow powder, and this cool little spoolie. I'm using the dark pencil just to draw in little hairs the bottom of my eyebrow because I have really great shape eyebrows but I was blessed with um, invisible eyebrows as well so you can't see them because I guess God didn't want me to be too beautiful it would hurt other people I guess just God breaking me down keeping me humble because I can't have a fantastic personality and great eyebrows right use shade chocolate brown and just do hair-like strokes. I'm not in for that fleeky brow stuff. I'm not a fan of that. 
I like not plucking my brows and like leaving it natural on now. I always thought it looks better. And then I'm going to use a lighter shade in medium brown towards the front. Oh my gosh. What on earth? Okay, sorry. My mom just came in and told me that I have to pick up all my dog poop in the backyard. So I finished filling in these eyebrows. So I will use, I have this e.l.f. Uh, wax crayon just to kind of push them up. Then this NYX Control Freak clear gel is an extra hold. I've had this uh, gel for uh, over a year and a half now, and I'm still in love with it, so I'd cop it if I were you. So we're done with the brows. Okay, so now on to eyeshadow. So this is a super easy look, like it doesn't take a lot to be able to do this, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this crappy concealer on my eyelids. I gotta blend it out. We'll just do one eyelid at a time so it doesn't already start creasing. Okay, so um, you will quickly learn that BH Cosmetic owns my life and I would do anything for this company. So this is Bronze Paradise, their palette. I actually got this for free because they're almost always having some fantastic sale or deal online. So this was free and it is so beautiful um it has so many looks in it bronzer highlighter the whole shebang so i'm going to use this little light one just kind of pat it around the crease it's not very dark just kind of a transition shade then i'm going to use this darker one right here just the outer corner of my eye just pat it Okay, and once you feel it's fully blended, I'm going to take, oh, also all my brushes are all BH Cosmetics. I love them, they're cheap, it's fantastic. I'm gonna grab this brush. It's the Vintage Cosmetic Company. Um, and I'm gonna use this Shebang highlighter right here. I'm just gonna pat I'm going to go up really, really high, like way higher than a cut crease, and I literally cry every time I see how beautiful this highlighter is. Take it out all the way here, I'm going to use that, and then I'm going to use a little bit of this gold right here, and just at the end of it, kind of blend it in there. Just <clears throat> So pretty. Now I'm just gonna repeat it on the other eye. Okay, we'll come back into eyeshadow again in a little bit, but now we gotta swipe away all this crap off my face. So I'm using Revlon Color Stay Powder. I also read online that if you swipe away your setting powder with pressed powder, it prevents flashback. Because I don't want to be flashback Mary. Next, I'm going to go back to eyeshadow. See this precious little blue right here? I'm going to do it under the eyes. Right by the waterline. Then we're going to drag it out just a little bit, kind of like an upside down wing. Use this compensation for the fact that I can't do winged eyeliner to save my life. Makes you look less dead inside. Can't see all the under eye bags I get from not sleeping at night. 
thinking of all my mistakes. Okay, so that's Dern. Still not done with this palette though. Okay, so next I'm gonna use Splush. It is pretty vulgar. Uh, it was re-gifted to me from a boxy charm box. And I'm gonna use my Lush brush. I like this better because, I don't know, the color's really pretty and it's matte and I'm not a huge fan of glossy blush. I'm just gonna yee, 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 and kind of like round soft circle. You do not want to press too hard or you will die instantly. A little bit under the nose, kind of get that ooh woo look. Okay, that is burn. So, now, highlighter time. Just gotta spray this, make that highlighter pop. Highlight brush. And now, I'm gonna use this highlighter. This, this one is like insanely bright and super glitzy, so I'm just gonna barely pat it on. Kind of in circles to blend, blend, blend it out. So we got most of the face done. So next, we're gonna use lip gloss. Okay, this is the cutest little tart lip gloss in the whole world. I, okay, I love all Tarte products except for their eyeshadow. I hate their eyeshadow. Their lip gloss and lipsticks are very nice. So this is in the shade Minx. It's really little because it came in a treasure box, uh, like eyeshadow kit I bought from them. We put a little bit on, blend it together. And if you don't want to fork up all the money for this, Maybelline has an exact dupe for it in the shade The Elixir. It's the exact same, like, look. The exact same. I'm gonna blend the finger a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to use my lip gloss. It's ABH lip gloss in the shade Moon Jelly. I live for this. But a little... Just right here for the little sparkles. And then we're almost done. I have this eyeliner. It's Revlon 2 in 1 Angled. I can't pronounce that. But it's this stuff is absolutely perfect for waterline. Because it just. Shoop. Shoop. There we go. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now it's time to curl my lashes. Okay. And my Revolution setting spray. I also freaking love Makeup Revolution. So I'm just gonna yeet that on there. Okay, and my favorite mascara is Tarte Mascara and Gifted, but I just ran out of that, so I'm gonna use this super ancient Almay one I've had since probably like the seventh grade. But uh I have three whole eyelashes, so mascara is very, very important, and I still haven't learned to do falsies for the life of me. So, your look is done. I only I don't look as gross and tired as I did before. I really like this look. It's easy simple none of my products were too expensive so shout out to my first youtube video it's probably gonna tank so shout out to the to the six old people who saw it bye